how to create a custom navigation in the Shopify. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we can do this. So, hey everybody, welcome to this new tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how we can make some custom themes, custom paged into Shopify. So, once you have your account already created, if you don't have that, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so we can get started and you might be enjoying three months of Shopify for just one dollar after your uh, 15 day trial mode. So, once you're here into Shopify, once you have your account already created, you don't have to worry about creating an online store because I'm going to be focusing into how to customize that. So first of all, it's going to appear in my setup guide. There are eight tasks that needs to be done. We need to add some product and we need to set up our store. So what I can strongly suggest to you is that you don't want to mess around with all this information. Let's just head down and to set up your guide. And as you can see, we can click here and we can go into the setup your store. So what I need to do is to add brand assets customize themes, add pages to your store, organize the store navigation, create a professional logo, and add a custom domain. If you don't know how to do this, I'm going to click here. I'm going to go for manage branding. And here, what you can do is to add the default logo of your store, the square version, uh, the primary colors. As you can see, I already have filled all of that. So once you have filled all of that information for yourself, hit into save. After that's going to be asking you to customize your theme. So I'm going to click into customize theme. And this one is going to be sending me into the section where I can customize the theme. So I'm going to go into theme library. I can go for a theme, visit the theme store. And what you can do is to look out for themes that are totally for free. So you don't have to be good to charge it, extra charge it. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, you going to go for collections, go for explore free themes which is actually here. And as you can see, we have the ride, the dawn, the origin, the sense. And if you want to sell products, I can strongly suggest you to focus into the one that says dawn, which in our case has already been added by default. So once you have added your actual template, all your information that you added into your brand is going to be added into that um, actually section of your of your customized. And here, as you can see, it's already been set it up. You don't have to do absolutely anything. If you want to check it out, different stuff, you can go into customize and it's going to be popping out the editor section of my actual website. So what I wanted to do, let's say that I wanted to change the header. I can change the background color for accent number two or for accent number one. That totally depends on what actually you're trying to look for. And once you have successfully done that, you want to go back and hit into saved. In my case, these Kim colors and everything that now has been already been successfully added. I'm going to just leave it like that and hit into saved. So as you can see, now my home, my catalog, and my contact is going to be added. So I'm going to go back here, and let's go and focus into adding the custom navigation pages. So I'm going to go in, look out for the online store, and, and here, as you can see, we have the blog post where we can create different blogs, and then we can add those later into our actual store. I'm going to focus now into pages. And here into pages, what I can do is to add a customized stuff. First of all, before we can add the custom navigation menu, I want to add different pages into my store. So I'm going to go into add page, just like this one. And here into add page, what I want to do is to try to focus, let's say for example, that this is an FIQ questions. And here into the content, we want to talk about what is the content about. This is about FIQ from our store, right? So with that being said, now I'm going to hit into the theme template. I want to go for default page and hit into save. There we go. There's a page already been added. So now I'm going to go back here and we have the FIQ and we have the contact. Now I'm going to go and add another one. And here what I want to go is to let's see look how for the sizing chart. And here in content, this is all about sizing chart of our products. And there you go. So once again, default page, visible and saved. After that, uh, now that I have all my pages added, I'm going to go into navigation. And here into navigation, here is going to be appearing to our menu. So there's two ways that we can start here. I can add a new menu if you wanted to or just focus into the main menu. So here I have the collection and search filters, the Shopify search and discovery. I can add this. If you want to boost a product, a recommendation, that's really totally for free. So as you can see, it says create a group, add filters, customize product recommendations, and we get into add applications. This is once again totally for free. You don't want to worry about the price. So 
I'm going to once again grant the access to install this application inside my website. I'm going to close this. And as you can see, now we are inside the search and discovery. So what we need to do is to manage this search and discovery. So we have the search performance, the purchase rate, the recommended performance, filters, search, and much more. This is going to be helping us to track uh, how many stuff are people looking for price availability and much more now into the back into our online store i'm going to go once again into navigation and here what i want to do is to customize my main menu so click into main menu and as you can see if i go into my store online store i'm going to hit into view my store we do have only one to three different stuff. So what I wanted to do is to add, let's say two more, the one that we have just created into the pages. So go back here, I'm going to go and locate the navigation main menu. And here into the main menu, as you can see, we have the three elements that's going to be added here. So what I want to do is to go into add menu item, look out for what is the actual name that you want to add here. So let's go for FIQ. And here it says linked, you want to look out for the page that you have added. So I'm going to hit down into the actual section of pages. And here I want to go for FIQ. Hit into add. And there we go. I'm going to go into add menu item once again. And here what I want to do is to look out for the sizing charts. I'm going to go only for charts. The linked pages, sizing charts, and add. There we go. After that, don't forget to go for saved. And there we go. Now what I wanted to do is to try to reload the page just to make sure that's going to be appearing in here. So I'm going to go back into the main menu. Here it is my menu menu. The footer menu, it's actually down here. So we only have the search section. Quick links. So you want to add more if you wanted to. For example, I'm going to go once again into footer menu. And here it says menu items. I can add more the about us, the contact, linked to pages, menu updated. So go back here, make sure that your main menu is going to be saved it. There we go. So now what I want to do now in order to save all the stuff, I'm going to go back into my online store and hit into view your online store. And just to make sure that my actual section is going to be added automatically. So just clicked into your channels, for example, charts, FIQ, everything that's going to be added automatically if you want to add more stuff more different menus you can always choose more applications for example i'm going to go for apps i'm going to go for recommended apps and scroll all your way down look out for the shopify app store once you are there locate the upper side and look out for custom menu or just menu it's going to be popping up a lot of stuff that you can choose to add into your store of course, what you want to do is to add, for example, uh, free to install. With that being said, guys, this is how we can add and customize our navigation menu and much more into the Shopify store. Don't forget to fill all the tasks that need to be done into your home section. Once you have completed the task, uh, complete it. And there you go, guys. So with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. If you want to see more amazing, great tools about this great, great, great application. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Well, I'll see you in the next video.